when this 1% are not paying their taxes. It means that local communities can't afford teachers, firefighters, police officers, health care, and other public services. So it's no wonder that we've been suffering budget cut after budget cut after budget cut in California, and it just seems like there is no end in sight. And that's because overcrowded classrooms, laid off teachers, and overstretched police and public safety services are a direct result of not having enough revenue coming into our state budget. So what can we do about this? Well, you know, I know what the character that I played on the 70s show would want to do. <laughs> he would want to put their he would want to put his foot up somebody's ass. <laughs> but there are some things that we can do. And first and foremost, we can vote. That's right. There are ballot initiatives that are coming in November that you must pay attention to, that you must vote on. Because they have the ability to raise taxes on the wealthy, which would relieve the budget deficit at the state level. We can't continue like this. And so today, we stand together to send a strong message that we need the richest among us to pay their fair share and let them know that we are ready to take this fight all the way to November. Thank you very much.